Well, this time of year, if you have a fireplace or wood stove, you might be generating a lot of ashes. And a common practice for disposing of ashes is to put them on your garden. Now, they can be a very good source of potassium. However, before you start to add these to your garden soil or to your compost, you need to take a soil test to find out if you need more potassium in, if you're in your soil. Now, if your soil is sufficient in potassium, don't add these to it because you don't need all that extra potassium in there. And also, ashes can raise the pH of your soil. And you put too many on, and it creates an alkali situation, and you won't get good growth out of your plants. Now, if you take your soil test and you find that you need some more potassium, this is a very good source. And the general rule of thumb is for sandy soil, you can apply up to a 10-gallon bucket full of ashes per 1,000 square foot area. If you have a clayey soil, then you can put up to a 20-gallon bucket of ashes in that 1,000 square feet. Now, after you've applied this and worked it in, you're not going to need to put ashes in that same area again for about 10 years because your potassium will be sufficient. So don't put any of these ashes on your garden area in the same spot every year because your plants will not grow well. And this is a good way to dispose of them, but again, be sure to take a soil test to find out if you need some potassium before using those ashes on your garden.